How did you get started serving in this ministry? I, I just wanted to. I just wanted to be part of an impact uh, on other people's lives. Uh, um, going someplace where, where people didn't have much and to be able to, to build a home for somebody, uh, uh, to, to move out of what I saw there where they were, they were shanties and the wood didn't come all the way to the ground and, and uh, they had all cloth was the door and, and covered the, the bathroom. I believe it was probably our son. When he was little, I knew about service, but I wanted him to serve. So Andrew was about five, and taking him to Good Samaritan was a good place for him to be because he could help wipe tables or hand out hygiene packets when someone packed them. He could do something. He didn't just have to stand around. So I would say Andrew was my first reason for wanting to serve. From helping select new homeowners, going through the whole screening process with them, to being on the ground with a shovel or a hammer or whatever in my hands and actually doing the work. It just became a driving force, something I had to do. Did you see a kingdom impact while you were serving? Definitely. Definitely. Galatians 6 2 teaches us and reminds us to carry each other's burdens um, because, in doing so, we're keeping Christ's law. And I could sit and read the Bible and study the Bible every day, but if I'm not putting those words into actions, I fell. We base a lot of what we do on the scripture in Matthew 7, verse 24, the parable of building the house on the rock. And building, building a house on that foundation, you're building a home. And these folks really have never had that. How has serving in your ministry impacted you or changed you? When we first went into Guatemala, uh, and we went to church on Sunday. Um, the pastor, after the service, the pastor called us over and was talking to Eileen, who was heading the, the uh, vacation Bible school, and said, there's not going to be 125 kids there. There's going to be 200 and some kids there. What, what really impressed me was uh, as the kids were tracking with us. Uh, we had an interpreter uh, was interpreting the, uh, uh, Eileen's message, and they, they knew about salvation. They knew about the cross. We were reinforcing mission trips that had been before us because they knew Christ, they knew the cross. So not everybody, but we had a lot of positive response. What's the difference between actually being there and doing hands-on work in your ministry as opposed to just giving towards it? Getting involved in a ministry is, is well, giving is like planting seeds from a helicopter. You scatter them, they go wherever, and they might do some good. Getting down in the dirt and planting them and nursing them and watching them grow is the big difference. We have to support those, the agencies financially. That's important. But they can't do it without volunteers. And to think that even one of those children might not get a meal because I wasn't there, it would break my heart. What would you say to someone who's on the fence, who's unsure about whether or not they should commit their time to serving in this ministry? I'd tell those folks that, uh, that this, this is an awesome chance to do God's work. It is, it is such, such a, a, a heart-filled experience to, to be able to, to help somebody else. It, it's so meaningful to work uh, on a mission, in a mission field outside of St. Paul's or Decatur, uh, to, to take God's Word and His love there. Even though you don't, you don't even speak the language, 
uh, you might be afraid of flying or whatever it is, you, you'll, you'll be touched in so many different ways just by taking the chance of stepping out and, and doing something like this. They're involved in that build process from day one, but the day they receive their key and get their Bible is a day they become a homeowner and they really, really, really know what community has done for them and with them being involved in that, in something far greater than yourself and just letting God use the, the gifts he's placed in you to work good in someone else. It's just amazing. God gave us his son. He gives us grace through his son. So the least I can do is to do what he says in his word and that's to serve when the opportunity arises.